La la la, do do do. Early is in the park. Magic in the city. Over the rainbow at the end of the street is Jubilee Park, where the fairies meet. Away from traffic in the neon scene, doing the magic, keeping it green. Fairies, elves, goblins too. You can't see us, but we see you. So watch your step with your purse and feet. Over the rainbow at the end of the street. Now twinkle, now sparkle, now gleam and glitter shine. But that's the sort of thing we do, Miss Pearly. We're rank. Yeah, uh, it's our career. Why can't you two do something more useful with your lives? You can be anything you want to be. You just have to have a dream and follow it. Really? I once had a dream we were sailing away on a holiday cruise to an island paradise. Yeah? <laughs> was I on the ship? Ooh, was I the captain? Hey. If we were sailing anywhere, I'm the captain. You can be the first mate and swab the deck. Hey, ain't no fair. <laughs> Stop! If you're going to make your dreams come true, you'll have to work together. Now, get this mess cleaned up and remember, if you cause any more trouble, you'll be going on holiday out of the park permanently. <laughs> And uh, over to your left are some really read, read bed. Maybe Pearly's right. We could do something like that. Ooh, Scrag! Lunch! Wow! That's the biggest watermelon I ever seen. The thing some persons leave behind <gasps> after their picnic. Uh, <laughs> last one in's a rotten rodent. <laughs> You know something, Jumpster? This here melon could be the very thing. Ooh. It's a water melon. If we're looking for a seaworthy vessel for our new enterprise, well, we just found it. Hey, yeah! So get you in. We need first, second, and third class cabins, a dance floor, and a poop deck. Poop deck. <laughs> just start chowing down, will ya? I'm chowing already. <laughs> hey, what's going on down there? Looks like a lot of bugs are going on holidays. Cool. Wow, a luxury cruise liner. A cruise? <laughs> I'm there. Let me get my Hawaiian shirt and suntan oil. Hang on, mate. Check out the crew. It's the rats. All aboard for the adventure of a lifetime on the high seas. So, you're taking passengers on a cruise? On the grand waterways of Jubilee Park. Uh, are you sure this thing will stay afloat? Aye, aye, Opal. <laughs> uh, we got a fine day and a fair breeze for an adventure. All righty. Purser, over here. Take my things to the cabin and hop to it. You're taking the cruise, Gobsnap? <laughs> yes, indeedy. I have my ticket right here. It's my annual holiday from Ferry HQ. One first-class cabin for free. The passengers love to see a VIP on board. Uh, how about you, Miss Poily? Well, I... Did you check if the ship's safe, Gobsmack? Er, uh, Mr. Flea, please show our esteemed passenger to his luxury suite. Uh, but uh, I wanted to be captain. You heard Gobsmack. You're the purser, or whatever that is. Now, get to it, you mangy furball. Oh, yeah. Ow! Uh, right this way, uh, your eminence. <laughs> uh, shuffleboard on the poop deck. 
Oop. Uh, at all 100 hours. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Watermelon always gives me gas. Tell you what, you do us the honor of naming this proud vessel Miss Pearly, and we'll give you a first class cabin for three on the house. Cool! We are so on board. Um... Please. You just gotta break this bottle of dandelion fizz over the bow, and it's ship ahoy! Oh, mistress, the smell of the sea, the lure of the ocean. Oh, I wish we could go on a cruise, huh? I told you, Bat Breath, we're not going, and that's that. Is it that you do not look your best in white, or Queen of Darkness? It's that I have no wish to see the dreary sights of Jubilee Park Pond on a moldy watermelon captained by two rats. I hereby name this the good ship Ratanic. With Pearly, Opal, and that wretched elf on deck, I might get some peace around here. Oh. Farewell! Bah! With any luck, that thing will sink to the bottom of the pond. All passengers report to the poop deck for fun, fun, fun! They're everywhere. In my bed, in the walls, and as for my first-class cabin, I have noted a distinct lack of hand towels and complimentary soaps. You see, the thing is... My cabin smells, and it's all squishy! And mine's all smelly uh, and pink. Havas, you scurvy dogs! Get ye back to your cabins, or I'll keel haul the lot of you! <laughs> hey, that was good. All right, you be captain. Ew, this is disgusting. And look what I've got for a pillow. Oh, Opal. I'm sure they're trying their best. Let's just settle in. There, you see? A few home comforts and we'll be fine. And another thing, what's powering this ship? I'm gonna go down to the engine room and have a look. Okay, I'll go help these bugs get comfy and you take Jasper with you. Hey, where is Jasper? He went to see the sights from the crow's nest. Uh-oh. <laughs> Everybody, seagulls! Five o'clock! Ah! Ah! Take off, you flying sea dogs! What? This whole ship is just one bug power? But Captain Fleas promised me a promotion. Uh-oh. Make that no bug power. Crikey! We're leaking! Ring up the mission mash, Mr. Flea. Come about? Come about what? I'll fight them off. You man the lifeboat. Pearly, there's a huge hole in the side of the ship. We're going under. What? Go and help Gobsmack. He's at the lifeboats. What lifeboats? There never were any lifeboats. No lifeboats? <laughs> Ah, so peaceful without that floating fruit ball and its mangy crew. The whole of Pondside, all for little old moi. Oh, oh, seagulls, pirates, the ship is sinking. The rat tannic is sinking? You're in charge, Gobsmack. And Fairyland HQ will say this is all your fault. You have to rescue them. Stay, have a glass of pond. Oh, deary me. This calls for immediate action, Ludwig. Fetch my black hat and alert the media. I'm ready for my close-up. <laughs> ah! Shoo! Shoo! Hurley! The Britannic! Everyone on board! They're all lost! Sneak! Help! I can't swim! I have no muscularity! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, let's not panic. I'll get every last one of you bugs back to shore. I promise. <laughs>
Here, hey, you take it. No way, you're the captain. You're supposed to go down with the ship. Ah, uh, I don't want to be captain no more. Quiet! Even though the ship's underwater, we've got enough air in here for us to breathe if we're all just calm. I've got an idea how we can get out of this mess. Scrag, Mr. Flea? Uh-huh. I want you to chew a hole in the side of the ship. But won't that make us sink even faster? Roots and twigs, just get munching, both of you. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> We're a rat gas powered melon submarine! <laughs> <Yay! laughs> oh, my dear, dear cousin. I have personally dedicated this monument to my best friend, Pearly the Park Fairy. <laughs> Take another one. I think my mascara is smudged. Uh-oh, mate. How are we gonna steer this thing? Hurry, hurry! You were a goner, a gone, er, uh, gone for a little while yet. How simply wonderful. Oh, Sapphira, that was some adventure. And what's this statue? Uh, it's dedicated to you, of course. Your bravery, your charming sense of fun and adventure. Hmm. Hey, let's all get a photo. Oh, no, they're back. Run! What? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Poop. <laughs> oh, cheese and peanut. What do you think, Jasper? I've been telling Opal we should throw a party tonight. And I say it's too hot for a party. My wings are about to melt. How about a pool party? That'd be an awesome way to chill out at the end of this wicked hot day. <gasps> yes! We can have it in the fountain! Excellent idea, Jasper. <laughs> Burley always throws the most fabulous parties. This will be the most thrilling event of the season. Ludwig, no eating the spa customers, no matter how tiresome they are. Pearly's pool party. Hm. All the best people will be attending a much more exclusive event tonight. It'll be the party of the century. Can we go, mistress? Huh? Can we? Can we? You nitwit. We're hosting it. My spa party will make Pearly's bash look like a knitting bee. There's nothing wrong with a good knitting bee. Okay, party favors, streamers, confetti, balloons, noisemakers. I've got everything on my list. But we need another extra special something. Something to make the party absolutely unique. I know what you need. <laughs> Screaming jelly beans. <laughs> They're half price. Oh. Um, no thanks, Great Aunt Garnet. I want something that will really make my party sparkle. I know just the thing. Guaranteed to make your party come to life. I've just got to remember where I put it. I'll find it and bring it around. Thanks, Great Aunt Garnet. You're the best. Now let's go over our guest list. Gobsmack, butterflies, moths. No moths. They're deadly dull. Scrag and Mr. Flea. Rats? No. No garbage eaters. Newts? Frogs? No slimies. Only the most exclusive A-list creatures will be invited to my party. Cockroaches? Are you even listening to me? <laughs> the gates are closed. Jubilee Park is now party central. Yay! Yoo-hoo! Hello! Aunt Garnet, did you find it? You bet your big green peepers I did. Yeah! <laughs> ha! Sorry. 
Sure you don't want any screaming jelly beans? <laughs> Positive. All right. Here you are, my dear. Instant festive atmosphere. Simply add water. Guaranteed to make your party come to life. All right, then. Here it goes. Garnet, it's just lovely. Thank you so much. Then let's get this party started. <laughs> Whoa! Shoo! Yeah. Shoo! Oh, watch the hair, dearie, would you? You're messing up my do. Make your party come to life. I guess they mean that literally. Yeah. Hello. Uh, good evening to you. I've never spoken to a statue before. I am not simply a statue, madam. I am Poseidon, ruler of the seven seas, lord of all the creatures of the deep. Ah, oh, you big soggy show off. Hi, I'm Mabel. That's my husband, ruler of the seven seas. <laughs> He couldn't find his way around this fountain without asking. How dare you belittle me? I command forces beyond your comprehension. Well, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you in front of your little friends, but you're being a royal pain in the neck. Hello, I'm Pearly, and may I say it's truly an honor to meet you both. No doubt slightly more of an honor to meet me. <laughs> this is so cool. As long as we can turn them back into statues before the park opens in the morning, we can turn them back, can't we? I haven't the foggiest, but my big book of enchantments will have the answer. Be back in a snap. Oh, epic! <laughs> yeah! What does your book say? Stalactite, stamp collecting, string art. Nothing about statues here, nothing at all. Okay, keep looking. Oh, swell party, Pearly. We never go to parties. Someone over there doesn't know how to have fun. The Lord of the Deep has better things to do with his time. Oh, like what? Bossing little fishies around? You doubt my power? Please be a little more careful. We've got a lot of very small guests here. That was so rude. You have got absolutely no people skills. Who are you? Wait, stop. Can't you think of anything nice to say to one another? Nothing at all? Oh, dear. Simply lovely party, Sapphira. A very high-class crowd. A dance, perhaps, later? Later. Much, much later. And yes, you won't find any riffraff here. Hey, you there. No moths allowed. Ludwig, snack time. <gasps> oh. ah! I hear two celebrity guests showed up at Polly's party. Celebrity guests? Who? I just heard they're awfully famous. If you're so interested in Pearly's party, why don't you go there then? <sighs> Surprise celebrity guests? Pearlie's deliberately trying to ruin my party. Outrageous! Oh, that is what you were trying to do to her. I wonder who the celebrities are. I'm sure they'd much rather be here. Oh, gobsmack, my dear. Yes, Sapphira? About that dance, I'd simply love to. But just one itty-bitty thing. Two of my guests seem to have strayed to Pearlie's party by mistake. Can you go over there and bring them back? They're awfully big celebrities, so you won't miss them. Oh, yes, indeedy. It, it would be my pleasure. Then get ready to be swept off your tiny, perfect little feet. Ow, ow, Here, ow, take that! And that! Oh, oh, oh you got it don't! Why oh, can't we all oh, just be oh, friends? Oh, oh Nats and Newts! What is going on here? Shh! Don't you shush me. What are those statues doing? It's dinner theater. Oh, really? Have I missed much? Uh, they just started. Bravo! Have a seat. <laughs> Holy! Seaweed head! Oh, for fish! Aye, aye. <laughs> Bravo! What is this play called? It's marvelous! <laughs> oh, my. 
very curious. <laughs> <laughs> Dingbat! Oh, boy. Where is that idiot gobsmack? He isn't following Mistress's orders. Not like our true and faithful bad Ludwig. <sighs> Where is everybody? You threw them all out, Mistress. Well, they're all tiresome bores. I want celebrities! Come, Ludwig. We're going to Pearlie's. Yes, Mistress. Gobsmack, what are you doing? Shh! Don't you shush me! <laughs> what? Bringing park statues to life? That is so against the rules. Are you listening to me? Oh. Out of my sight! Never darken my door again! The feeling's mutual! If I never see you again, it'll be too soon! Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> Huh. Oh! Eureka! I have it at last. We can turn them back to stone in an instant. Let's not do it just yet, Aunt Garnet. Mate, it's dawn. The park's about to open. But look at them. They're so unhappy. We can't leave them like this. Just give me one minute. You two have been together a long time, haven't you? Tell me about when you first met. Oh, it was at the bottom of the ocean. At the King Crab Cotillion. Do you remember what Mabel was wearing? Oh, he won't remember. I do. Oh, you were in green, with two strings of pearls and seaweed in your hair. <laughs> did you dance? Well, you bet we did. Uh, but I had to ask him. He's got two left feet. Two left feet? <laughs> I'll show you. Care to dance in your sweet flippers, my dear? <laughs> that is so beautiful. Sentimental mush. True love conquers all. It sure does, dearie. Oh. The park is about to open. Would you mind? Not at all. I could sleep for a hundred years. Sweet dreams. Thanks, hun. Best party I've been to this century. My pleasure, Mabel. Wow, simply wonderful. I call it the feel-good hit of the year. Pure <laughs> drivel. Needs a total rewrite. Oh, it was magnificent. The dialogue sparkled and the acting effervescent. Ludwig. I heard that. Oh. <laughs>